So we are live. Welcome back to the channel. If you are a returning back subscriber, if you're brand new here, be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification. Once again, if you're brand new here, I post things on this channel about the matrix, um, positivity, self-awareness, self-discipline, veganism. If any one of those topics interest you, then you are on the right channel. So make sure you are subscribed and turn on the bell notification. And let's begin this video. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway. Someone requested for me to do a video about this YouTuber by the name of Magon or Mag Truth on the Run. One of those names. Magon posts things on this channel about the Matrix, so I thought it would be kind of cool to kind of hear his opinions about the Matrix or whatever video he I'm going to watch of him speaking of the Matrix, his opinion, and I'll just kind of give my opinion. We'll just go from there. Uh, <clears throat> I did put in the search bar Magon Vegan just to see if he had a... A video about veganism and he actually does as you can see right here the video title a mag on vegan food so this will be perfect because I'm a four-year vegan so this was this would be a really interesting topic or video to watch so let's not let's stop wasting time let's press this video let's play this video excuse me and let's go here we go message from the mag unsubscribe from the real conspiracy channel I told you what it's here for Yes, to distract the masses from the truth. Don't listen to no conspiracy now. Today we go get into this new food that they feed in the masses. Basically vegan. They push that on the people. And everybody mad when I talk about these kind of things here. Yeah. Or so you need to wait. Let me stop right here. So, um, <clears throat> when you hear the word vegan, understand this please. Vegan is beyond just food and beverage. It's not just food, beverage, weight loss. It's beyond all those things. It does consist of food and food and beverage, but it's really a lifestyle where millions, if not hundreds of millions of people believe hurting animals is wrong. Using animals for apparel, clothing, food, entertainment, service, it is barbaric. It is unnecessary. I think I can speak for you watching this. It is unnecessary to hurt animals, beat them, brand them, stab them, slam, slam them against the, the ground, step on them. You know, hook them like you know this is terrible, wrong, and I'm sure you don't want to you know pr participate in supporting any industry that does this to any animals. But that's why people go vegan. We don't believe in hurting animals. I'm sure you don't yourself. If you have a pet, whatever a dog or a cat, you don't want to see them in pain. That's what vegan is, not just food and beverage. So yeah. Pick up on it. That's why I call it the bitter truth. This gone vegan right here, this vegan meat, vegan food, you better wake up on it. Of course, it's a satanic way to kill off the masses, 100% fake food. But first, let's turn to a story about the business of... Let me stop right there also. He said it's fake food. He said vegan food is fake food. I'll make this very short. <clears throat> if you still consume meat, dairy, seafood, and eggs, um, the FDA allows animal cloning. They clone farm animals. They can clone any animal, okay? So my question is, when you are purchasing bacon, chicken, steak at the store, does the packaging state that this product is from a cloned creature? I'll answer it for you. No, it does not. So you're consuming fake animals yourself, okay? Fake. And when they clone these animals, these animals are so sick where they're being raised, it's so filthy, they have to feed those animals so much medication to keep them alive. Medication. So you're consuming animals that are cloned and medicated. A lot of you take medication, and you're eating other creatures that are medicated, and you're taking your own medication. Does your doctor even say this to you? Does your doctor know that they feed animals medication? And you're on your own medication. You're eating all these drugs and have no idea. So he's calling this fake food. But you're consuming. I'm sure if, he, if, if Magon is not vegan, if you're consuming animals for food, those animals come from factory farming. Factory farming practice lots of medication, feeding medication to animals, growth hormones, make them grow fast, you know, unhealthy, unnatural. These are not real animals. And he's calling vegan food fake food. That's crazy. 
food. Economics correspondent Paul Solomon takes a look at two start. On top of that, these 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 animals are so scared, and depressed, and sick. A lot of them have cancer too, and you're putting all this into your body, all this bad energy into your body, right? And have no idea that this is happening. Now, does the packaging list or does the restaurant where you eat these animals, right, do they state this information? Do they also state that eggs are banned in Europe or eggs are illegal to be advertised or labeled on the carton safe, healthy, and nutritious? It's illegal to label eggs safe, healthy, and nutrition in the U.S. And it's banned. All U.S. eggs are banned in Europe, but they still feed you this stuff. Right? Startups aiming to help the planet and improve health by serving up plant based burgers that they believe. They're helping the planet. Yes, they're helping out the planet. So called. You better wake your ass up. We're living on a flat earth, not a planet. And there's no such thing as global warming in here. They're fooling the dumb masses, of course. Just to sell you this fake meat, they're telling you about they're saving the earth. It's bullshit. It will wean Americans off meat. It's part of his weekly series, Making Sense. Making Sense. It looks like... Talking about money, right? Okay. A burger. Cooks like a burger. Bleeds like a burger. Introducing... Bleeds like a burger, people. Impossible Burger. It's meat made entirely from plants. Invented by a pretty cool scientist named Pat Brown. You hear what they tell you? The first thing they tell you, it's made completely from plants. Let's find out what kind of plants can make meat. Let's okay. that bleed. Let's go. Hi, Pat. Pat is CEO of a hot start. You got to understand with this so-called Pat right here that you see in the shirt say impossible. You need to wake up on him. It's another devil puppet they put out here to pies in the masses. You never get it at all. You. Whenever the government want to put something on you, they use a face like this right here. That's how they do it. I have to agree with him on that. So I do agree with Magon on that. I do believe, listen, I, I believe <laughs> Uber, Facebook, Lyft, Instagram are all owned or controlled or, or ran by the government. Now, if you knew that the government were the ones behind Facebook, Instagram, Uber, Lyft, you probably would not join or participate because you know the government is the one running all these applications or companies. But because they put a face like this guy's face, you know, to represent the company, you feel better. Now, they romance you to, to make it seem like a hardworking American citizen just, you know, you know, had this idea and, you know, really made this business and now it became this empire. Like, you want to be part of this, this whole, you know, situation. You know, it's like a, a, a hero. Almost like Apple, Steve Jobs, right? A hero. And that's, that's way more sexier, you know, to participate in having an, an, an iPhone or being Uber or Lyft or Facebook. It sounds sexier when, you, when a face is representing that company than the government. If you knew the government were the ones running everything, you would not participate. You would not be taking selfies. You would not be posting what time, where you were, how you got there, you know... <laughs> You wouldn't do it because <laughs> now you feel better that you're being romanced that a face represents those companies instead of the, the U.S. government. So I do agree, I do agree with Mag on this topic. I'm going to come out and tell you it's the government to run this shit right here to kill off the people. There you go. Uh, called Impossible this Foods. Is your, this is your impossible, impossible place. Wow. I told you people the name tell you what time it is. Impossible food. Wow. You need to stay away from it. You see this crook right here? Standing right there with the hand in the pocket. Yes, it's an imposter. One hundred percent. Bam. This is where the magic happens. Where are we going? Magic. Wow. I told you stay away from magic. Of course, they're working black magic on the masses. Now you involve magic in food. Wow. In a lab-to-table operation that's raised nearly three hundred million venture capital dollars in Silicon Valley. Right on the money. For three. Okay. No doubt. They never leave out their numbers. Take a look at this right here, people, and see if I'm right or I'm wrong that you need to stay off this fucking fake food. Watch this. Make mock meat. 
What's your background? Where, did you, where were you from before this? I mean, what were you doing? I was a professor at Stanford for 25 years, the medical school. All bullshit, 100%. And of course, it's Stanford, one of those satanic colleges where they recruit Freemasonry and the masses. That's what you need to know. Government run shit. Probably I right just want him cooked. No, and just why is a tenured ballyhooed biochemist flipped his super safe career to flip burgers? I realize that animals are just a prehistoric technology. That the use of animals to produce food is the most destructive technology in the use on Earth today. That's right. The solution right. to the problem is develop a better technology. You stop right here. So yeah, so using animals for anything, you, using animals for service, entertainment, food. Um, apparel, clothes, it, it is so prehistoric. He is absolutely right. I mean, I, I agree with this 100%. Humans can thrive and be strong, healthy individuals without using animals in today's world. This needs to go away. It, it's, it's too much money. It's causing a lot of problems on Earth. Using animals for human gains is super unnecessary. It needs to just be changed. I agree with him on that, definitely. So his lab rejiggers plant molecules to replicate the fleshy flavor and texture, even the aroma. So this is... Even the smell of beef. Wow, people, I told you, that's 100% fake food. They're killing off the masses with... And I told you, this is for the new generation. Yes, they're going to die quicker. I told you, the more life goes... Yes, the shorter your lifespan gets. That's not true. So um, children are already being... Um, they already have diabetes right now as we speak. Children, like I'm talking like maybe 9 or 10 year old children, overweight, consuming lots of processed, you know, meats, dairy, eggs, and seafood. <clears throat> not, not the vegan stuff, but the stuff maybe Magon still eats himself. The meats, dairy, seafood, and eggs, right? These are processed food as well. So really, if you think about it, <clears throat> This video should not be called Magon Vegan Food, but Magon Processed Food. All processed food is horrible, whether it's vegan or non-vegan. That's, that's, to me, the real discussion here. It's all poison, all of it. Just because it's vegan does not mean it's healthy. I'm not debunking or trying to put down veganism. Never, okay? But at the same time, when I'm seeing these foods, these, these plant-based chickens and plant-based steaks... I'm not against it, but it's still processed. Bottom line, it's processed food. But he's saying, Magon just said, um, the next generation are going to have a, short, a shorter lifespan. They already do from consuming so much meat and dairy, seafood, and eggs. That's probably where he's not understanding, man. It's already happening. It's been happening for, for years already. So, again... Um, it's it's not it's not just vegan food, man. It's it should be this this video should be called Magon Processed Food. Processed food, there it's all bad, all of it. I'm not against it. I still eat every now and then myself. I'm not saying I'll never, I never, I I don't touch it, but my diet consists of lots of whole food, plant based diet, very little processed food. Come on, you know what do you expect? It's like a person that drinks beer every day. What do you expect? So something's gonna go wrong. You're drinking beer every single day. You're eating meat every day, dairy every couple of hours. What do you expect? Something will go wrong. Of course, your great grandma live longer than you go live. That's just how it is. And your kids gonna have a shorter lifespan than you. They're coming up with new shit to kill off the people. <laughs> So you get the smell of the burger, right? Correct. This is an old factometer. Impossible's flavor scientist, that's that's Celeste holds Schiedinger. But why is smell so important? There's only actually a few receptors on the tongue. There's 400 recep different receptors in your nose. See, what they do is they study the human being, and then they can feed it with all these garbage, because they know you're going to fall for it. That's just what they do. What are the basic ingredients? See, but they do this to all fools. Like, Magon doesn't understand, like, they, they do these practice to all processed food. Oreo cookies are processed food. They do the same thing with that. It's artificially flavored. What do you think they're doing with those? It's, just, it's not, and it, it's, yo, like, I'm trying to, it's all about just processed food. It's all being messed with. Food coloring, dye, and all this stuff. Like, it's, it's all processed. It's not just the vegan food. All processed food get the same exact practice. It's all just in engineered food. So it's 
Again, change this to processed, not vegan. Because you're talking about processed food is bad. And I agree with you. It is, it's all bad. Ingredients. So this is wheat protein. This is a protein, not starch, from potato. This is a heme. Wow, wow, people are told you all artificial food. They're feeding the people. They create them in labs. That's wow. the uh, secret sauce. We discovered that uh, heme is the magic ingredient that is uh, uniquely responsible for giving meat uh, its meaty flavor. The, uh, or as the CEO puts it in the company's rhapsodic heme biopic. Heme is a beautiful iron-containing molecule, and it's essential for pretty much life on Earth. I see there's actually a spot of blood over there. That's the heme. Wow, a spot of blood. I told you people, they make it 100% fakery in labs and give the human being to eat and you, you eat it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that red color comes from the heat molecule, the same thing that makes your blood red. We've engineered yeast to produce a protein that's normally produced by a soy plant. You hear that? Listen again, let's go back. Wow, this is a cold-blooded person you see right there. Yeast. To yeast, you remember what I tell you about the yeast? Wow, it's a killer of mankind and they use it in bread and everything else. Exactly. See, he just said bread. This, that's what I'm talking about. It's all processed stuff, foods. It's all just processed foods. Processed food is bad. That's just bottom line. There's no way around this. If you're consuming processed foods all the time, you're going to have some trouble with your health. You will experience some health issues. You will experience health issues if you're consuming lots of animal flesh, decaying flesh. Did you know when you go to a store and purchase meat, when it's all pretty and red, they paint it red? When I say paint, I mean they use color, you know, food coloring and paint the damn meat red. If they if they don't do it, the meat looks like it's decaying. It turns brown. It looks, looks really bad. You don't want to purchase that. You want to purchase the pretty stuff. It's all just processed food, and you're not. Even, I don't think Magon is, is aware of that himself. He's 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 very focused on the process procedure of these plant-based burgers or patties, but those same procedures are being done to what he's eating, and he don't even know that. That's crazy. So uh, he needs to. You should change if you're watching this dude, Mag. Change this to process. Okay, this needs to be changed to processed food, not vegan food. If you're so, if you're if you're so concerned about what are they feeding us as human beings, then you should question what you're eating as well is also processed. They're doing the same thing to your foods as well. You're just not aware. This is what I promote, man: self awareness. You're not aware. You didn't know. Hopefully, now you know because of what I'm sharing with you. Now you do your own research and figure out what you need to do next. I highly encourage you to go and adopt a whole food plant-based diet, not vegan. Whole food plant-based diet, consume lots of rice, lots of vegetables and fruits, oats, grains, you know, um, nuts and seeds. Like, yo, eat that stuff, you'll be good, man. Good carbs, good fat, good sugar, you'll be good. That's even this soya sauce I saw you the other day. That they also put it in, they put it in the food for a reason to kill off the masses. Listen, makes your blood red. We've engineered yeast to produce a protein that's normally produced by a soy plant. Mm. To Impossible's brand. Protein come from soy plant. You better wake your ass up. All fake food, making labs. Oh. Heme is the competitive edge, but competitive with whom? <laughs> Turns out there's another big player in the plant-based burger business run by another brown, Ethan, no relation, CEO of Beyond Meat. He's gone from fuel cells to food, and he too thinks mock meat is man's gift to the planet. If we can be that group of people that separate meat from animals, that's a net net plus for the human race. It's worth investing in. Impossible has heme, Beyond Meat, peas. We can take the amino acids from peas, and we can basically reset structure so it takes on the fibrous texture of muscle or, or meat there you hear that you're talking about all created no doubt about it
it. So he take a little bit some something from a bean and he turn out make a lot of meat out of it. Wow, it's bullshit, people. One hundred percent. It's just so painful. it's not it's not meat he's making. <laughs> it's 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 a bunch of plants. He's not taking that whatever from the bean and turn it into a bunch of meat. It's 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 plants. It's not it's not it's not flesh. You know, so just kinda wanna make sure you have you see the difference. He just said he's made they're making meat. They're not making flesh. There it's 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 plants, a bunch of plants. Way safer, way cleaner than decaying flesh. They're both still bad, but one of them are cleaner than the other, which is the the plant based version. Nothing is is decaying. You know, nothing is decaying. Yo, I, I have muscles on my body. I have, this is meat. This is, this is meat right here, right? You chop off my limbs. You, you eat, you know, my arm. That's meat. You know, we, we, we've been programmed to accept the fact that consuming someone's muscle is normal. Consuming someone's decaying flesh is normal, which is what we call a steak, a baby cow's muscle. They program up to tape. They program us to accept this idea is normal, and they normalized it of consuming flesh. You're you're eating someone's 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 freaking decaying muscle. That's insane, and you expect to be healthy consuming someone else's body parts. That doesn't make any sense. So he's saying Magon is saying the next generation are going to have a shorter lifespan. It's already happening. Because you're consuming someone else's body parts that's been chopped up into pieces, seasoned, and they say this is food. Decaying flesh is food now. Use this, man. Mixture of muscle or, or meat. They're looking for a valuation that is greater than a 50%. Beyond's technology has its own high profile venture investors, including Ray Lane. We had concluded that there was a sea change going on in millennials and even the next generation down from millennials in the way food was consumed. In the I told you, what I tell you, I told you, it's for the next generation that coming up. Yes, they're going to have a shorter lifespan eating this meat right here that they make in the lab. And don't worry about it. That's what they do. They do it for real. Type of food and the attention to health. With climate consciousness trending, invest... Yes, climate. I told you, they're lying to the masses about climate change. They're full of shit. They tell you spinning around and around ball in the middle of space, but still, you have climate problems. Wow, it's bullshit. We're spinning in the middle of nowhere. Yes, but climate problem is bullshit. With climate consciousness trending, investors have thrown their money at over half a dozen mock meat startups. For now, though, the game is between impossible and beyond. Impossible is... Government. Both of them is a government shit. Wow. Just like your Uber and Lyft. They are all the same shit. Out of the new plan. <laughs> I just said that. That's very true. Like I said, I do believe all these companies, Uber, Lyft, Facebook, Instagram, are all government ran. They're all ran by the government. All of them. I, I definitely agree with that hands down. Let's go. The Matrix, baby. It's real. Plans to make a million pounds of meat a month to ship to some 200 high-end restaurants around the country. Wow, gonna serve them up for everybody. There you go, make boxes of them right there. Yeah, it's the new way of killing the masses with the food. High-end restaurants around the country. But Beyond is already in over 3,500 restaurants and grocery stores, including Whole Foods. And in... Of course, we already know about Whole Foods. Satanic shit they have, no doubt. Yes, in the disguise of a food store. That's how they pies in the masses have them thinking that they're eating good for real. They're eating healthy, of course. They kill the masses in any way they can. They never miss. Recently inked a deal with Safeway. This is our Super Rica. Burger. Super Rica? Okay, so they're gaining acceptance, but what do these babies taste like? Boy, this is like an In N Out burger. I mean, I uh, yeah. Doing a commercial. That's all they do, people. They're selling you this dumb shit. Yes, we go get deeper into it. Let's see how they make it. The manufacturing process of vegetarian meat. Step one: soak the soya fiber protein for one hour. In you hear that? Fiber protein. Wow, wow! I told you, people, this is rubber. No doubt, it's synthetic food. They can wash it, soak it in water, and everything, and it still stay together. What kind of food? 
you can soak in water and it don't come apart, there you go right there. Soak the soya fiber protein for one hour in normal temperature water till it becomes totally soft. Yeah, the soy is a killer, just remember I tell you, okay? Step two. So let me stop right there. So soy is not a killer. <clears throat> and if, if, if anyone is against soy so much, then stop eating meat. If, if, you're, if you're watching this, if you're against consuming soy because it promotes cancer and all this stuff, then stop eating meat or dairy, seafood, and eggs because they feed soy to animals. I bet Magon didn't even know that. They feed soy to farm animals. So you might just stop eating these creatures. Okay, if you're buying meat from the store, it's it's 99.9% .9 it's from factory farming. That's where they feed those animals soy. They also feed them dead animals. They grind up the dead creatures and feed them back to livestock, livestock. So he calls soy poison to stop eating animals. And man, you, you, might, you might just stop eating chicken or whatever you're consuming since you're not vegan because... They feed those creatures soy. They even feed fish soy. There's a fish farm. There's something called a fish farm. They feed fish soy. Put soya fiber protein into a mesh bag. Why don't they tell you what the fucking soya protein is? What is it? Wow, they're not telling you what it is. Wow. and dehydrate it by centrifugal dehydration machine for two minutes. Then rinse so if I Wet it up, dehydrate it, wet it up again. That's all they do it. Wet it up, flash off the water, wet it up again. Of course, you shouldn't eat that shit, of course. Ever put it with water and dehydrate it again. Step 3. According to the power and volume of deep fryer, to weigh appropriate amount of soya fiber protein and fry it with 130 degrees to 140 degrees. During frying, the soya fiber protein should be turned. They put it back in some more water again after they fry it. They have a bucket of water waiting again. They go soak it again in water. Watch this right here. Artificial or mechanical operation. Till it is fried with crispy surface and shows golden yellow. Step 4. What the fuck is it? Wow. Put soya fiber protein into a mesh bag. Soya protein. And de-oiling it by centrifugal dehydration machine for okay, four minutes. Again, they soak it in oil and then so get it oil out of it again. Dehydration again. Wow, there you it's go. Man, I feel it for the next generation, man. I feel it for them, no doubt. They're not gonna know nothing else but this right here. Look at what he got in his hand. Wow. Do you believe it? Somebody gonna eat that right there for meat. Wow. There you go. Once again, that, that same product is being fed to cows or pigs, chickens, um, fish. It's it's excuse me, it's it's being fed to the same things we're eating right now. Things meaning meat, dairy, seafood, and eggs. If you're so against soy then you might want to switch up your diet to something a little cleaner then because they feed the animals you consume soy and corn. This is where this is where the matrix comes in, you know, with 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 I'm trying to make sense here. You're 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 programmed to accept agendas of consuming meat and some of you have no idea of what how that whole procedure is being done before you consume the animal on your dinner plate. They feed them corn and soy. They feed them medication, lots of pharmaceutical drugs. They feed them growth hormones. These animals are sick and diseased. You eat all that. 
that's way, way more dangerous than soy, than what I'm seeing right now. All I'm seeing is water, oil, and some plants. Not the healthiest choice either, but way cleaner and safer than a medicated cloned chicken. Or, or excuse me, Jesus Christ, I have to break my computer. Or a cloned cow or pig. You know what I mean? Like, really think about what I'm saying here. If you have to compare the both, the plant-based burger to a decaying flesh burger, which is cleaner? The diseased creature that's cloned or plants? It's not hard to decide, man. They're both still processed. But, I, you know, I, I just... I much rather go for the plant based. It's way, it's way safer to, to to consume, and meat does promote cancer and diabetes. Yeah, man. Step five: Stew the de-oiling soy fiber protein with prepared stew soup in it. Stewing it again. And breathing this layer for thirty minutes when the soup is boiled. Process. Just watch what you're eating as a fucking vegan. Watch this. Step six: Put soy fiber protein in a mesh. Um, you don't have to be vegan to eat this stuff. Like you don't, you don't have to eat this stuff. You know, as a vegan, I don't eat it like that. I mean, I, I really don't. You, you can still be vegan and eat way cleaner foods. Like I just said, the whole food, plant based diet. You can still eat this stuff. So be a a vegan and not have to eat, you know, plant based burgers. That's it's your choice. But you don't have to that's what I'm saying, like vegan is beyond food and beverage. Like it's it's not just food and beverage. It, it it's 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 all about not supporting industries that practice animal cruelty. That's what you support when you purchase meat, dairy, seafood and eggs from stores or restaurants. Your, your dollars support animal cruelty. That has to be performed to those animals. I don't like that. I don't want to see animals get hurt. I don't see any animals get slammed on the ground, branded, burned, sliced open while they're conscious, burned while they're conscious, boiled alive while they're conscious. This is barbaric and unnecessary. Like I said, a lot of you agree with me or would agree with me that that is a terrible way to do, a, a terrible thing to do to a creature. You don't, you don't want to support that. I know you don't, but you've been programmed or we've been programmed to accept these these, these agendas and just just follow robots, right? You know, we can change by just adopting a whole food plant-based diet and not support these industries anymore that practice animal cruelty. It's, it's so barbaric. Back and de-stew it by centrifugal dehydration machine for 15 minutes. Should I show you how they make it? Why not show us how they how you make the damn soy protein? That's the whole thing. That's what they're gonna eat for meat. Five minutes. Time is depend on the mouthfeel and the yield ratio after baking. Let's keep going. What we're going to try today? Out of and like I said before, I mean, the meat he's consuming, 
They're, they're, they're fed soy. I mean, honestly, it's not even real meat. It's fake. And when I say fake, I mean it's cloned animals. Unless you raised the animal yourself. You saw the animal from, the, from a baby to a, an adult. You're, you are consuming cloned animals, man. All of you. It's cloned. It's not even real meat. It's not even a real animal. It's cloned. That's what that that's what's crazy about what he's what he's not understanding. This this vegan food, I think he just has a problem with vegan food in general, but he's missing a point. He's I, I think he's a little ignorant, you know, because you're 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 so against processed food, but you're you're consuming processed food and not even aware of it. That's what's crazy. Unless you grow the animal yourself, you don't know where it comes from. Meaning you don't know what exactly <laughs> how this animal was, was raised. Most likely it was cloned. And they feed him medication. I bet he didn't even know that. That's what's crazy. You call this fake meat, but man, you, you're you consuming cloned animals right now. That's what's crazy, dude. First thin slices of steaks we have produced in a lab setting. I think this is going to be the greatest revolution in the history of modern agriculture. Mm -hmm. You hear that? The greatest, it's the greatest in history right here by creating fake meat, and you call it agriculture. Get out of here. Lab-grown meat is not just a plant-based alternative like the Impossible Burger. There's a technology that exists that allows us to, I mean, for all intents and purposes, have our bacon and eat it too without any pigs being harmed. Cultured meat, lab-grown meat, clean meat, whatever you want to call it. Call it clean meat. If you fall for that, you're in a world of hurt, people. If you fall for this, you're in a world of hurt. You cannot eat meat that produced in a lab. Wow. Is that That's where the meat you consume came from, homeboy. That's where the meat you eat came from, a laboratory. You didn't even know that. He, he has no idea what he's talking about. I'm watching this video, right? I'm watching this. I'm trying to... I'm trying to I'm waiting to see if he's gonna say something. Well, he said a lot of things that made sense, but a lot, of, a lot of the stuff he's not aware of. He's saying not to trust because it comes from a laboratory. I just said the meat he consumes, the meat, the animals he eats, come from laboratories too. That's even worse. That's that's even worse because it's it's even if it was not a cloned creature. They still, it's still bad to eat someone's flesh and thinking it's healthy. Animals have cancer too. Animals have cancer. And you eat that cancer when you're eating those muscles or body parts from those creatures. High cholesterol, bad fat is in these, is in these muscles, these, these meats you're consuming. Trans fat, saturated fat, it all clogs arteries, man. It promotes diabetes, heart disease. That's what it does. This guy's not aware of what he's saying. It's not making any sense. It's just not. I'm looking. I'm, I'm just listening. And he's against processed meat, but you're consuming processed meat right now. A, a world of hurt? You're consuming laboratory meat right now, homie. That's crazy. Identical to conventional meat at the cellular level. Just grown in a lab. No slaughter involved. Its arrival could have massive implications for meat eaters, the U.S.'s $200 billion meat industry, and the environment. And it's happening yes, at a... It's gonna save the environment to make fake meat in lab and feed it to the people. Pivotal time. We can't handle more agriculture. And it's growing... They're feeding fake meat right now. See how all these meats... See how all these are red? A lot of this stuff is painted. And he's sitting there talking about fake meat. They paint this stuff red. It's not even real meat. It's not even real meat. That's what's crazy. And it's loaded with medication. All of it's, med it's all medicated. If you eat any one of this stuff here from FDA, sorry, from the USDA, animal agriculture, this stuff is cloned or medicated the creature still has cancer. They don't cut all the tumors out completely. You eat all that stuff, and you have no idea. He calling it fake meat. 
He's against soy. But he's eating the same stuff, if not worse, than the vegans. Wow. When the man is asking precisely that, and we're going to reach a breaking point. We're in San Francisco on our way to just the startup invited us to try its lab grown chicken nuggets for the first time. Just started out by making vegan alternatives to animal products like mayo and scrambled eggs. Just remember that I tell you people, you see the vegan, if you feel like you're eating healthy you're in a world of hurt, it's fake food you're eating created in labs, wake your ass up. But now they're entering a new market, they're producing I agree with him 100%. I, I, I'm not going to debunk that whatsoever. It's processed meat. I don't crave meat. I don't, I, I don't wake up in the morning and crave a vegan sausage. I don't, I don't need it. I, I, don't care. I never care for meat like that. You know what I mean? Like, if, 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 listen, I don't crave meat whatsoever. If you do crave meat and you're vegan, then just go have you a nice little plant-based whatever. It's still it's it's your comfort food. This is what I mean by it's easy to it's easy to be vegan nowadays because the food that you were used to before is in a plant based version. That's awesome because now you don't have to support industries performing animal cruelty. But it's your choice to eat this stuff. It's your choice. But like I said before, man, I I don't I'm not excuse me yes. I'm not against what he's saying. I agree 100%. It's still processed meat. It's from the laboratory. But so is the meat you're eating too. The meat you're eating. The steak. Did you know steak? Okay. This, there, there's this really expensive steak called Kobe steak. It's from China. Kobe steak is worth hundreds of dollars, I think, per pound. Something like that. Per pound or per, per steak. Something like that. It's very expensive. Hundreds of dollars, right? That's real steak. So the steak you're eating from these supermarkets in the U.S. is not real steak. Sometimes they'll label it as Kobe steak when it's not. It's real steak, real, real, real veal, baby calf muscle is worth hundreds of dollars that some of you don't have. So the steak you're eating from the store for like $5.99, it ain't real meat, man. It's not real. So mag on. If you consume steak, if you're big on, oh, I'm against laboratory, whatever foods, fake foods. If you're consuming steak, it's not even real. Sometimes what they'll do is they'll, they'll, they'll take parts of a baby cow's muscle, which is veal or steak, and they'll, they'll glue the meat together to make it look like it's a piece of steak, a T-bone steak. They glue it together. Did you even know that? So, yo, if you're, you're so big on fake foods, you don't condone fake foods, you're already eating it. You're already eating it right now, man. Whole <laughs> meat grown from animal cells in a lab. All right. From animal cells in a lab. You can never eat that, people, of course. I told you it's a new way to kill off the masses, of course. Chef Chris, we're going to cook up some cells. I like to call it chicken. Well, we'll see if it tastes like chicken. This is our chicken bite. We've got some breading on it right now. Chicken bites. Never tell you all that. Bam. All right. What do you think you get from the McDonald's and the Burger King and them with the damn chicken nuggets? What do you think? Open it up. Just take it and break it open and see if you find meat in there. It's fake food. 100% same shit they feed in the people called vegan, 100%. There you go. It's kind of fluffy on the inside, kind of airy on the inside. Lab grown. Once again, vegan food is everything that does not consist of any animal ingredients. You can, you can still, vegan food is rice. Rice does not come, does, does not contain any animal parts or ingredients until you start adding that mess into it. Vegan food is pasta. Um, vegetables and fruits, oats, grains, um, lentils, nuts and seeds, that's vegan food. It's not it's not this processed stuff, man. I'm not against it, but don't 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 start thinking that's what, what vegan food is, a bunch of you know, processed foods. No way. 
No way. Far away from that. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. So, a lot of things he does make sense on, and I agree with him on. A lot of things. But there are also some things I don't agree with what he's saying. I mean, of course, it's my opinion, but... Yeah, once, 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 once again, man, you're already consuming clone creatures and have no idea. He, you should need to make a video about that. Can't wait to see it. Needs start with a small cluster of cells that, like an embryo in a womb, needs proteins and nutrients in order to grow. The process generally begins with taking a tissue sample from a living animal. From that tissue sample, stem cells are isolated. From there, a nutrient-dense serum encourages the stem cells to multiply. Once a mass of cells is formed, it's fed with proteins that prompt the cells to differentiate into muscle and fat cells. After some time in a cultivator, a mass of cells resembling raw minced meat can be harvested and prepared. Wow. Scientist food, science food. That's what they're feeding the people right here, created in a lab, and people gonna jump on it, call themselves eating healthy by being. Well, science food is soda, juice, Gatorade, sugary juices. That's all, you know, science food as well. I mean, if you're consuming Oreos, that's also science food. Oreos are super processed, it's not even a real cookie, it's artificially flavored. This is what I'm talking about. Your video title should be called Processed Food, Not Vegan Food. Because you're already consuming the same stuff that you're against on this video. It doesn't make any sense what you're saying. If you're against consuming soy, you're already eating it. Fake meats and all, you're already eating it right now. Science foods, you eat it too, man. You know, change your title. Make, make, really makes sense here. This needs to go away vegan because you're now talking about vegan food. You're talking about processed food, which is... I'm with you on that. I, I agree. It's bad. But this is what, you know, I, I kind of disagree with you on. Well, not disagree, really. Um, like I said, I'm, a, I'm, I'm with you. I agree. Processed food is terrible. But that needs to be, this time needs to be changed to processed food because that's what you're really talking about here for the most part. Processed food is horrible. It tastes good, <laughs> but it's horrible. You know, vegan, of course, you know, we're not hurting. All right, Chef Chris. Moment of truth. Let's do this. Here she is. Mm. Tastes like a chicken nugget. You did a great job as a chef with the exterior, but the interior is nice and soft. It's kind of spongy. You like the chicken? It's nice and soft. It's kind of spongy. Kind of spongy. What I tell you, check out the chicken nugget at McDonald's and then all the fast food places that sell chicken nuggets. Not the, not the Chick-fil-A, but check out the Burger King, Jack in the Box, and McDonald's fat burgers. Check out the chicken sandwich, the, the patties that they got called the chicken. Chick-fil-A gets their chicken meat from animal agriculture, the same place that clones animals, that feeds these poor creatures medication. They're all, it comes from the same place. Just because it's Chick Fil A, they raise up the price. It's just to romance you, like it's that it's cleaner chicken. It's the same stuff. Believe me, don't get caught up in this mess. Get away from consuming animal protein as a whole. Get away from consuming so much processed foods. Get away from that stuff. That's what needs to be said here. Processed food is not the way to go. That's both non-vegan and vegan food. Processed food is a no-no. But I do recommend. I highly recommend you adopt a whole food plant-based diet. Every now and then you can still mess with your little science food, but not every single day. That's that's just not the way to go, man. Sandwich and also the chicken nuggets. Check it out. It's nice right. and soft. It's, it's kind of spongy. Kind of spongy. It's the same shit. You hear me? It's a lab food. They've been giving the masses, and now they spice it off on the so-called vegan. No, don't follow the vegan diet. It's fake food growing a lab. They give it the masses. You like the chicken? It's pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have to say. It's there's no such thing as a vegan diet. There's no such thing as a vegan diet. One more time. There's no such thing as a vegan diet. It does not exist. There's a such thing as a whole food plant-based diet. That makes a lot of sense. Vegan food, just because it's vegan, and I, I agree with this dude, Mag. He's right. Just be, Well, he didn't say it, I'm saying it. But ve just because it's labeled vegan does not mean it's healthy and safe. 
it does not mean that whatsoever. It just doesn't have any animal parts or ingredients, so it's labeled vegan. But uh, like I said before, rice and pasta is vegan. It doesn't have any animal parts in it, right? Fruits and vegetables are vegan. Same thing, no animal parts. Nuts, seafood, legumes, oats, all vegan because there's no animal parts. But just because it's vegan does not mean it's healthier and cleaner. I agree. Tastes like a chicken nugget. Good. Yes, We'd rather it's like a chicken nugget because the chicken nuggets is the same shit. Don't doubt when I tell you, you'll see them right there with the Illuminati sign on the hand. Of course, people yeah, just say it. that than anything else. Almost be surprised that it's so normal. How long will it take before it's on someone's plate at a fancy restaurant yep. or at home? The chicken's going to be happening uh, hopefully before the end of the year. So we're talking before about the end of the year. Yeah. We only have a few weeks left. I know. I know. Where? So we're talking to a handful of countries right now. The, the, the key limiting step is a regulatory. A regulatory. Regulatory environments didn't contemplate the idea that you would be able to serve meat without killing an animal. Last month, the FDA and the USDA agreed to share regulatory oversight of lab-grown oh, meat products in the U.S. So we just inked an agreement with a company in Japan, and they make this very, very high-end product called Wagyu, where we're sourcing cells from these phenomenal cows. And then using the cells is the building blocks to make a hamburger that we're hoping to put out in the next year, year and a half. What's the biggest technological hurdle you have yet to overcome? Well, it's probably the structure. You know, we didn't give you a chicken breast, we gave you a chicken nugget, you know? And we're not gonna come out with a steak, we're gonna come out with a hamburger. So it's a structured stuff. It's trying to figure out a way to weave together the muscle and the fat so it, it looks like a steak would look. Just says it may be more than a year away from having its burger. But we learned that a startup in Tel Aviv, Israel, may have found the holy grail of cultured meat production, a steak. The world's already seen hamburger meats, mm -hmm. but this is different. Yeah, that's different. Those are pieces of steak. We believe that uh, for um, cell cultured meat to be a real option in the market, it has to reproduce the texture and the experience of the conventional meat. Olive Farms steak starts its life in this nitrogen tank. That's where the frozen animal cells are kept. You're going to take us to the slaughterhouse now? <laughs> we don't have slaughterhouses, but we have cows. This cow is uh, named Gertrude. This is a cow named Gertrude, okay. Yeah, and that's uh, the second cow named Alberto. So this is uh, Gertrude. What you can see in there are cells, which are actually real cow cells, which we have uh, isolated from a real animal. Is the cow still alive? And we don't hurt the cow. The conditions inside these refrigerator cows are meant to... And all of the people so-called always be down saying that they're fighting for animal, animal rights. Yes, these are the people going to jump on it because they feel like they're saving animals from dying. Of course, you pull a shit. It's fake shit they're giving you to eat. Of course, you rather have cancer. <laughs> you better wake up. Replicate the bodies of living cows where cells naturally multiply. So this is actually the, probably one of the, you know, or maybe the first piece of... Let me, let me stop right here. So he just, made a, he just made a statement about getting cancer from, you know, adopting these, um, these, these, these foods, these plant-based foods. I, I can't stress this enough, man. I cannot stress this enough. Scientifically, it's been confirmed that consuming animal body parts promotes cancer and diabetes. I'm not sure if this guy sleeps on the rock. I don't know what, but it's really kind of sad that this is not being, that he, he doesn't understand this yet. It, it, it's, it's pretty much solid. The reason why it's not being pushed by media because they're part of this agenda too to keep society dumbed down by keep pushing this idea of consuming animal protein is safe and healthy. They're part of it too. They're, they're, they're the ones part of keeping us all confused, sick, and just fat. It's a genius move and they're making money from it. We're not. We're just suffering. They're part of it too. Cancer comes from consuming animal body parts. Diabetes, heart disease, you name it. Obesity, animal protein is what's doing that. Beef tissue. After roughly three to five weeks in Gertrude, 
these small beef pieces will grow into a thin slice of steak, wow. roughly the size of a credit card. Most cattle are slaughtered after two and a half years. What we're going to try today are the first thin slices of steaks. Each meat cut you will test today costs approximately $50 a piece. The test and flavor are still, I believe, 60-70% on the way toward the our goal. You've gotten the texture pretty close? Yes, not bad at all, and you can judge by yourself. The company didn't want to show us a raw piece of steak. Instead, Olive Foods invited us to be the first journalists to try its steak at a test kitchen in Tel Aviv. When we arrived, Amir Ilan had already marinated the lab-grown beef. Okay. And here it is. You know, so the beef with uh, mushrooms in teriyaki demi glass and some microgreens with truffle soy vinaigrette. This looks beautiful. Thank you, Chef. My pleasure. Well, let's give it a go. It's pretty good. Yeah, I have to say. It tastes pretty close to a regular steak. I'm not willing to say this is the best steak I've ever had in my life. Pretty good, though. <laughs> and, but it passes. Olive Farm says it will take at least two years before its product is commercially available. Back in the States, a political food fight is already underway. Jan Dutkevich is a political scientist at John Hopkins University. He researches industrial agriculture. Demand for meat is rising globally, but it's also completely unsustainable. We're running out of arable land on the planet. We've got, but it's also completely unsustainable. We're running out of arable land on the planet. We've got. <laughs> Did he just say that, people? We're running out of edible animals on the planet. What kind of bullshit is that they're selling the masses? Are you kidding me? Yes, they're running out of cows and pigs. A really serious climate. Wow. We're running out of arable land on the planet. We've got a really serious climate change problem. Yes, and climate change, of course. Fake meat will save the planet from climate change. Wow, you need to wake your ass up. It's fake shit they're giving the masses. All Oxford University study estimates that lab-grown meat could be produced with up to 96% fewer greenhouse gas emissions and 96% less water than conventional meat. If cellular agriculture delivers on its promise, which we don't know if it's going to do yet, but if the technology gets there, then I think we may be heading for something resembling the age of animal obsolescence. Wow. Tell that to the rancher out in Montana. Do you think that the meat producers are going to take this risk to their industry, their livelihoods, lying down? Producers are already up in arms. Are ranchers like yourself? It's an organized government shit. 100% is planned to push this on the masses. The fake food created in labs. I'm not going to stop. Let's keep going. <laughs> relationship with meat is complex. Many of us love how it tastes, but try not to think too hard about how it reaches our plate. Of the cost in terms of the planet, animal suffering, and a whole lot more. Right now, raw meat in our kitchens is generally treated like toxic waste. You have to keep it in a different bag when you buy it. If it touches your counter, you're supposed to disinfect the counter. And the reason is because there is feces in the meat. And within that feces, you have intestinal pathogens, E. coli, salmonella, campylobacter. These are intestinal pathogens. And if we don't cook the crap out of our meat, literally, they can sicken us. Well, with queen meat, you don't need to worry so much about that because you're not... Yeah, I ain't no scientist, but it ain't no damn feces in the meat. You understand that's not why it contains salmonella. Don't tell me that shit. It's just raw meat. That's just how it is. And if it's not stored at the proper temperature, of course, it's going to sick you. No doubt about it. As you can see, he's pretty ignorant. I mean, I mean, <clears throat> it, it's, it's not rocket science. I mean, mammals poop. <laughs> mammals poop. Us animals, we all poop.
it makes a lot of sense with what the scientists are saying. And this is just science, too. You can't expect to be a healthy you or to have a healthy future if you're, if you're consuming decaying flesh where poop runs inside of. I mean, how much poop are you really, like, cleaning out? Uh, let's just be real. I mean, same thing with animal, I mean, with cow's milk. They allow a very small amount of pus blood into the milk. And somehow they can clean that out or filter it out. I'm, I'm asking myself, how much do they really filter out? If you're consuming cow's milk. How much do they really filter out the pus and blood? What do you expect? I mean, you're consuming breast milk from another creature. Mother gives birth to a baby cow, produces milk for the young. And we, we pour this breast milk in our cereal and, and coffee. I mean, what, 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 what do you expect? I mean, honestly, it's, it's not rocket science. All I'm saying is, I agree with Magon 100% with processed food being bad. I'm, I'm all in. Super, you know, I'm with you. At the same time, he's not aware that he's consuming you know, worse foods compared to plant-based foods. Bottom line, man. I mean, whether you like it or not, animal protein promotes diabetes and cancer. It has bad fat, bad carbs, bad all that. Trans fat, saturated fat, it's in there. Minus, I mean, not including the 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 poop. That they were just re just referring to, and the pus and blood. Come on, seriously. It don't matter if you put shit in the freezer; it's still poison. Get the fuck out of here. Growing intestines at all? You instead are growing just the muscle that we actually want. In San Francisco and Silicon Valley, there's a race going on. Some of the biggest players are investing in the search to make commercially viable clean meat. That is, meat that is grown in a bioreactor rather than on an animal, but is in every other way identical. Clean meat is real meat that is grown from animal cells rather than from animal slaughter. So right now, we have the capacity to take a sesame seed-sized biopsy from an animal. And inside of that tiny biopsy, there are millions of cells. And when you put those cells inside of a cultivator and make them think that they are still inside the animal's body, they do what they do best, which is grow into muscle. I'm telling you people, you see all this shit that they hear him talking? 100% fake they give the masses. Just another way to sell you the damn meat, the fake meat. Of course, it's created from the lab from scratch. 100% you can never eat that. Call yourself trying to eat healthy vegan. Are you kidding me? You're eating is wrong if you touch the vegan. Of course, it's sa satanic shit they're giving you with the fake meat. There you so go. this isn't an alternative to meat. It's not a substitute to meat. It is real meat simply without the need to raise and slaughter animals. This is one of about half a dozen companies in the race to develop clean meat. They're called Just. They invited me in to see how they're doing Though there were parts of the operation, I wasn't allowed to film. The first question I had is, if meat is so problematic, why not just try and give up altogether? More people were eating meat today than yesterday. So we talk about the plethora of plant-based restaurants that are popping up. Plant-based restaurant that's popping up is a new trend, people. It's time for you to wake up. I told you, you're not eating healthy if you go vegan. I told you. Just like you see, they have the fake sugar. It's better if you just drink the real sugar. Just eat the real sugar instead of eating the one that they come. The alternative for sugar that will make it better. Of course, it's kill you quicker. No doubt about it. Stay away from the vegan food. Mag, I'm gone. Well, once again, like I said, um, as, as far as what he just said before he signed off, um, <clears throat> he keeps calling it fake food, and I, I can't stress this enough, man. The, the animals he's consuming are not even real. 
they're, they're not even nat they don't grow naturally they grow into huge mutant looking creatures sadly you know but they're so like I don't know how to explain it, man. They, they, they're, they're they're just not natural anymore. So that's not even the real that's not even real chicken, you know. It's, it's really not growth hormones, all that stuff. You put all that into your body, man. You know, it's just bad energy. It's it's it's, it's so unhealthy. He he should he should really focus on processed food and this whole vegan thing because he's saying you eat this vegan food, you're doing yourself you know this injustice, but. Vegan food is not just, you know, processed food. It's, you know, to me, there's no, there's, there's no such thing as a vegan diet. But I'll, I'll say vegan diet because that's what people re refer to. But he, 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 he kind of says vegan food as if it's just this processed stuff. And it's not. I told you it's a bunch. It's just rice pasta, oats, beans, legumes, nuts and seeds. Lentils, potatoes, sweet potatoes. I mean, that's all vegan food as well. There's no animal ingredients in there. As long as there's no animal ingredients, it could be called vegan food. That's all it is. Listen, hope this video helps. I'm getting kind of tired. I just really want to kind of just show you this video. Um, thank you for the request. Um, I will definitely end the video. You guys take care. Much love. Peace out.